Okay, Andrew Bell is joining us now from BNN Bloomberg. Good morning to Good you. Good morning. I guess we're talking about a new pop player, aren't we, today? Yeah, I, I, the huge convenience store operator, Alimentacion Couchetard. You mm -hmm. know them from those Circle K stores everywhere. And On the Run, too? Is it On the uh, Run and Circle K? They very well could be yeah. involved in that, um, uh, certainly on a licensing basis. Right. But Circle K is the overall everywhere brand. Too. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So they're investing about $26 million in an outfit called Fire and Flower, which runs cannabis stores. Mm. In fact, they just got Fire and Flower just got their 24th license, this one in the Yukon. They have stores in Western Canada and Ontario. Alimentacion up front will invest the 26 million and be eligible to get a 10% interest in Fire and Flower, but they also will have provisions that can see them get a majority stake, just over 50%. So they may well take over Fire and Flower. So this once again legitimizes cannabis right. in, in the sense that a big established retailer is getting into it. And how do you see this playing out? I mean, what, what sort of branches are we going to go off in? Well, it's fascinating that you are seeing a mainstream company deciding there's mm. a future in retailing marijuana. Now, they have already backed a store in London, Ontario, presumably on a kind of experimental basis, putting their toe in. Um, but it's interesting that a big, sophisticated retailer, yeah. and they have stores in Europe, they've got a massive oper alimentation, massive operations in the United States as well. Probably, the, I mean, it's peanuts for them, 26 million. Right. They have a market value, valuation of more than $46 billion. Really? Yeah, a oh, huge company, yeah. global company. But presumably part of this is just the expertise they're trying to get uh, in dealing with the tricky regulation of cannabis. There are a lot of rules around it. But this presumably will be good for the cannabis stocks today in the sense that a big sophisticated player is showing interest. Now, there's one other story I just want to share with you. Sure. The Globe and Mail mm -hmm. has uh, alleges today Cantrust. Remember that big uh, cannabis company got in trouble for allegedly growing pot in unlicensed rooms. Mm -hmm. Globe and Mail says it has seen emails that indicate that the CEO and chairman knew about this malarkey carrying on, really? uh, alleged uh, carrying on months months ago. Okay. It's not confirmed and we've contacted Cantrust. Okay, but well, I know that you guys are going to have more today. Thank on you very much. Bloomberg, and thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.